Hi everyone, it's Killshot from 99 Gaming. This is The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 8, Negan Wants Blood. We're going to preview this week's episode. The official title is Heart Still Beating. We'll talk about exactly what that is going to mean and where we may hear it. Warning, this will contain predictions and spoilers, and I will give you some of the actual deaths and some plot twists that are going to happen. A lot of stuff happened last week, and we're going to tie all the pieces together and get back on track and find out what the second half is going to actually entail. There's going to be some major, major things happening, but let's get into this week's episode. Negan is waiting, and he is not a person that you want to keep waiting. Very interesting sneak peek this week between Tara and also Olivia. Olivia could not find the lemonade. Tara was nice enough to bring it over to her, and this was kind of a uh, little bit of foreshadowing as well, too, because Tara actually offered to go in, and Olivia said, well, we're going to sit down. Negan has prepared spaghetti. Something interesting with the scene here. Look at his face. There's no blood on his face. He's already shaved. I know a lot of people speculated he cut himself shaving. That's not the case. We're going to talk about that in one second. Carl's very uncomfortable. Judith is sound asleep. Negan is tapping his finger on the table. He gets tired of waiting, and I think this is where the events really start to happen. He goes out and checks on his supplies. When he goes out to check on his supplies, Rick and Aaron make their way back. We know that they were out scavenging, and there was a spoiler alert on this that once they got supplies, there were boots. Someone was following them. Maybe the person who owned them is checking them out, and we may meet them a little bit later on the episode. But they did load up the truck. They made it back to Alexandria. We're not expecting Negan to be there. So the saviors were nice enough to take half the stuff off their hands, probably a little bit more. And you can see the surprise look on Rick's face. They went out, did all that work, did not even get a chance to hide anything, and they're there to loot them as soon as they get there. Daryl will be free at last, and Fat Joey will be. Well, we'll talk about that in one second. If you're a Daryl Dixon fan, leave it in the comments below. If you're ready for Daryl to get into some action, I'm tired of seeing him be the prison whipping boy. So we know there was a trail of matches left. We think those were left by Cher. He does find his way out. Once he finds his way out, he will meet up with Jesus. And Fat Joey will meet his demise. I mean, Fat Joey's been dropping the ball lately anyway. So you knew he was going to go. If it wasn't going to be Negan, it was going to be Fat Joey. So I think uh, Daryl actually saved him a little bit of time. Daryl will kill Fat Joey. They'll hotwire some motorcycles, I guess. And then they're going to ride back to Alexandria. Let's get to Spencer. This is the big news from this week. A lot of times they change up the comic deaths. But I think this is a death that's going to play itself out exactly the way the comics do. It's too perfect. Here you can see Spencer trying to cut a deal. Negan does not like that deal. He wants to deal with one specific person. Uh, there you can see... Uh, he told Spencer he didn't have the guts. Oh, how embarrassing. But check this out. Remember when Negan beat down in the Lucille scene? He didn't have blood on his face. He specifically has blood on his face in this scene, and he also has blood on his face here. I think he's walking past Rick. Rick may not know what happened to Spencer at this point. He's going to find out, and we could hear the heart still beating. Or Rosita may take her shot at Negan right there. More to that in one second. Spencer's been on borrow time. They should just let him die here. He has been hanging around for far too long, and I think most people, most viewers probably want him to die anyway. He's a little bit of a snake. Location found. Remember last week, Michonne took actions into her own hands. She killed all the walkers, made the roadblock so she could take Isabel hostage. She wanted to find out where Negan was. Isabel's going to take her to the sanctuary, and Michonne is going to show mercy and actually let her go. This could be a big problem going forward. Now we have multiple people that know the location of the sanctuary. Jesus left the syrup trail. Daryl has the match trail, and Michonne has actually been there firsthand. The kingdom is in play. It's been a while since we've seen this, I guess episode two, since they really had a plot around them. I thought Richard would be dead at this point, but I guess if you haven't filmed in six weeks, you can't die. Remember, he's the one that tainted the meat, gave it to the saviors. There could be some revenge on the horizon. He's calling together a meeting and said he doesn't trust the saviors. They need to strike now. But this hidden entrance is something that's really, really suspicious to me. You see Richard walking out, and then I'm not sure if this was a split scene or actually it was a continuation, but Michonne in the car with Isabel looks over to the side. She may actually spot Richard, and that could be the bridge to start to bring these two groups together. So now let's talk about the Rosita issue. This is going to be the biggest domino effect that we've seen in a long time. So last week we know Rosita wanted the bullet. She pushed Eugene. She made him actually make her a bullet, hurt his feelings, apologized to him. But then when they go back to Alexandria, something really interesting happened. Spencer looks at him and says, they're here. Rosita gets the look on her face and she says, he's here. We know this is where she's going to start her assassination attempt. Major, major spoiler coming up in three seconds. Turn away now if you don't want to hear it. I think this scene where Negan is walking away after killing Spencer, where he has Lucille on his back, Rosita's going to take the shot at Negan, but she's actually going to hit Lucille. I'm thinking that the heart still beating is going to be a comment that Negan makes because Lucille takes a little bit of damage. Now for punishment, Negan is not going to kill Rosita. He's actually going to have the girl on the right, Arat, is going to shoot Olivia in the face. 
And then we know after that happens, we are going to get sad face Rick. Rick would not make this face for Spencer. Trust me, this is what's going to happen. Actually sees Olivia die. And then Eugene is going to step up. He's the one that made the bullet. Rosita challenged him a little bit in the past and said, you need to step up, take some accountability. So Eugene is going to be taken hostage back to the sanctuary. Could be an interesting plot twist. Now, Daryl was captured at the sanctuary, and they didn't go in and really rescue Daryl. I guess Jesus did, but Rick's group did not. Will they make an attempt to rescue Eugene, or could Eugene possibly turn? Wouldn't that be a major plot twist if Eugene actually became part of the saviors going forward? I know it's not comic book scripted, but leave your thoughts, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this episode and what could happen for the second half of the season. Thanks for everything that you guys do. I appreciate all the work, all the debate, all the chat, and building this channel. We would not be here without you. Talk to you all soon. Peace.